Welcome to part two. What we're going to be doing is we're just going to put some simple textures on this, and I'm going to show you how to make it so that all of the levels in the building will not only have textures on them, but you can also interchange them. Uh, and it only uses one texture, which is kind of nice, and we are going to be getting it from Substance. Uh, as I mentioned, they have some fantastic new building textures that I've been um, really playing around with a lot. I think they're probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen come out of Substance. So you can choose what one you want. Um, I think I was using the triple panel building, but uh, you can use whatever one is free. So maybe we'll just try it with this one, actually. So I'm going to go to Substance. You have to download this. Um, I will, uh, if people are having trouble downloading this, I, I don't think you should, but maybe I can make this one available. Since it's free, I don't think they'd really care. So I will download this and I'll just pop back into Blender and I'll show you how to open that and adjust it in a moment. So now we are going to change all this texture to black. We'll just make it like this. Pull that down so it's just black. And we're going to do the same thing with this. Oops. And that's close enough, I think, to color. Good. And I'll just change the base now. Okay, so that's good. The only other thing that I want to do before we get started on the textures is I'm going to go into edit mode on these. I'm going to do two loop cuts. Uh, I'm going to S, oh, oops, I'm going to select only the edges, S, Y. I'm going to scale it out here. So I'm going to go to about, uh, let's say 2.5. So I'm looking up in the top left corner at the scale. So about 2.5 is good. So go up and then I'm going to click that in there. I'm going to go up to 2.5 again. Now, th this part, I found it was best just to do uh, extrude manifold. I, har I hardly ever use it, but it's just a really quick tool to use. So go like halfway in, which is, uh, we'll look at the top here, go to like um, 0.2. I think that's pretty good. And almost good. Yeah, close enough. You're not really going to be able to tell the difference, so it's kind of whatever. Oh, that's weird. I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Extrude manifold. Like I said, I, I don't use it that much and it kind of messes me up sometimes. I thought it was like a bad extrude there, but yeah, it does work pretty well for this. And then the last one before we texture is we're just going to switch this back to regular extrude. You can just click on this button and hold it in and you get the menu. Uh, I think there's a hotkey as well, but I just don't use it enough to really bother myself with it. So hit I to inset. E to extrude, I'm going to hit S to scale it up a little bit. I'm going to inset that again, extrude, scale, maybe inset one more time. Go in a little bit this time, inset again, extrude. So just, it doesn't, this part doesn't really matter, but as you can see, as we change this, then the building is changing too. And maybe we can have a little fun and go like this as well. So I'll just scale this on the Z, move this down. Oops. I'm just going to go around and select this. Extrude faces on normal, something like that. So yeah, then the building is pretty much good to go. And we can test to make sure this still works by clicking on the base. And as you can see, the building is still working. So now we're really just down to the textures and then we are good to go. So in this one, it's the building, this one here that I want. So I'm going to call this building variation. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to go and get the substance source. So, uh, if you don't already have a substance account, you can do this really with whatever way you want. Like if you just want to put, you know, little, like, like Boolean little windows into the cube inside of blender, you can completely do that. Like I said, I just found that it looks best with an actual texture on it. So if you have one, uh, great, or you can just rip it off of Google, but this is the one that I recommend. So substance source. Uh, I believe you can download it on the website. I'm not sure exactly where you do it here, but I will leave a link below. So grab some Substance Source if you don't have a way of opening these up. 
Right, so I'm just gonna grab this one here. I do own all of these, but you can use any one that is just free. Like it's not really important for that. You can make the windows look good no matter what. So I am just gonna grab the panel building and then I'm gonna open this up in substance and you can mess around with it here. So I'll put it on like 4K and I normally set this to 10 just so it's the windows are a little bit bigger, but this part doesn't matter either. Um, night lights, true. You want these on. I think the night lights are awesome. Uh, the curtain opening. So I'm going to set this to like 0.9. So I don't want the curtains too closed. And as you can see, everything changes there. As I said, this is probably one of the coolest textures I think that you can actually get on Substance. And yeah, then that's one. that one's good to go. So we're going to export as a bitmap. I'm going to go to browse. Uh, I'll just find a, I think I had a folder. I'll just make a new one. So I'll call this building, select the folder. Now for this one, we don't need the diffuse, specular, we don't need glossiness, we don't need, um, I guess we'll keep metallic, we don't really need it. And then, yeah, so we want base color, normal, emissive, roughness, and then metallic. Um, you, you know, the only ones you really need, in my opinion, are the base color and the emissive. Normal is good to have, the roughness and metallic you could probably uh, do without, but they do make it look quite a bit better. So I'm just going to make this uh, PNG actually export. Just give this a second. Right. So we have the textures downloaded. Now it's time to bring them in. So I have node wrangler, so I'm just going to hit shift control T. I'm going to find building. I'm going to bring these all in. I don't think a missive is going to come though. So that's one that we just have to bring in manually. So uh, one thing I am going to do too is I'm going to call this building frame. This is something I forgot to do before. So we're just going to go in here and we're just going to select all of the faces that are going to have the windows on them. So you can see it over here. Hit control I and then we're going to put building frame on there. We're just going to make this a black texture uh, just because we don't want the windows uh, we don't want the windows to kind of go all over the place. We only want them in these little areas. Now you can do this whatever way you want to. This is just the way that I'm recommending it. But if you want the building to have a different design, by all means, uh, do that. This is just what I found, you know, was kind of quick and easy. So that's really the only reason why I'm doing it like this. Um, right. But we'll go back to building variation. Uh, I'm just opening up my file on the other screen. So I just have this. I'm going to drop in emissive. I'm going to bring the normal map down. Drop emissive in here. Link it up. Now for this one too, you, you want sRGB on because we want these colors. If you make it non-color, then you're not going to get all those, uh, those nice uh, lights in the window. You will get something, but just not as, uh, not as nice looking. And right, so we're going to flip this back and the building should be good to go. So what we can do now is we can go into UV editing, serial preview mode. So this part is a little bit weird and you wanna make sure it's not set to emissive. Click this here and go to base color because it's a lot easier to see. So I'm just gonna go through and hit A. I'm gonna rotate everything. And then as you can see, this is not the way that we want it. So I like to bring it so that it's um, you can hit G and Y to lock it up and down in this mode and bring it about halfway. So for this one, I'm having it sit halfway between the upper level here and the, the lower level. Um, and that's just because I, I find that it, it gives you nice spacing and makes it look like the windows aren't right on top of one another. And then I would grab these, hit G and X to go over. I'm going to set it right on the seam. So you can see the seam here, seam here grab this and go right here. And then the windows are looking pretty good, but they are upside down, I believe. So we're gonna grab all this again, 180. And then that is looking pretty good. So as you can see, there is a bit of a, bit of a reflection there. And if we wanna make it look even better, we can come in here and go emission strength, like five. You can see all the lights turn right on. So we were in UV editing. Go in here and we're just going to do the same thing quickly. 
So you can just position them wherever you want. Another little tip is uh, just kind of look at it like this and just make sure the windows are somewhat lined up. Um, and then that uh, it's not too, too important. Like you can't really tell, but you know, if we're going to be nitpicky about it, uh, I'm going to drag this up to the top level. So this like that. All right, so what you should be left with is something like this. Now, the problem is, is that we don't want this to be repeated on every single level. This would be, you know, it's, there's not really much sense in having a nice texture if it's just going to look this this fake, because it is technically working, just, you know, not the way we want. So we're going to do things a little bit differently now. We're going to go up to the scene collection. We're going to add in building level variation. Now, this one, you can really do this with as many, like you can do it as many times as you want. Uh, it is a little bit tedious because as of right now, I don't know of a way that you can auto unwrap, uh, at least with specific points. It'd be pretty cool if you could just show like the 50 variations quickly and then it just pulls randomly. Maybe there is a way of doing that. Uh, I really don't know how to with the geometry nodes, so I'm just kind of brute forcing it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go through and I'm going to duplicate all of these. And I think that should be pretty good. I'll probably speed up the video once I show you a couple of examples, just because there's no sense in just making you sit through that whole thing. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go back into UV editing mode. And then what you can do is you can just grab this, slide it to a new location, grab this, slide it to a new location. Do something like this. Right, so now as you can see, oh no, actually, because we haven't changed it yet, so this won't uh, this won't change yet. We're gonna go back into the geometry nodes, so we're gonna click on the base, and what we need to do now is we need to change this from object. So this one and this one are related to the middle part of our building. We're gonna go collection, whole uh, check off whole collection, and you're gonna pick building level variation. As you can see, we do have a couple of different variations here. Now, all of these are pulling, so I'm actually surprised that there's three of this kind because this one, uh, as you can see, everything gets kind of distributed that way. I, I thought that this was going to be way harder when I first started doing it, but it really is quite simple. Uh, and there's actually one more little variable that we can add in here. So if you grab this empty slot here and go into seed, then if we come over here and adjust this, it's just gonna randomize where the floors are. So if you're doing a bunch of buildings, I'm sure that there's a way you can randomize it. I'm not gonna get in that in this tutorial, just because I wanna focus really on only the building and I don't wanna use geometry nodes too much more than I have to, just so that people that are new to the topic don't get uh, a little overwhelmed. But yeah, back into UV editing. And uh, I'm just gonna quickly do this one and then I'm gonna speed it up. So this one goes over here. This one can go down here. And yeah, and then this one will just slide right over the end. And I'm just gonna speed up the last couple, but then you'll see the difference right away. Okay, right, so you can go through and just make sure they all line up, but I think that that's probably good enough. Uh, we'll go back into layout mode and pull this down just so that we can see. And right, so yeah, as you can watch me do when I click on this, is you can just change the seed and then all of the floors are changing. So you could go even further and just keep adding them in for more randomness. I think that that's probably good enough for me. Uh, and if you duplicate this, you can change the levels of this one, you can change the seed. So that's what I was saying about you can make these 
uh, procedural and just kind of, you know, make them all random. But I'm not going to get too far into that. Maybe I will make a part three just to quickly show that when I get a little bit better with them. But um, this is basically the extent of my knowledge on geometry nodes because I literally just started with them this weekend. Uh, but I was really impressed with how easy it was to get the hang of this at least. Um, I have used Unreal Blueprints a, a decent amount. I, I wouldn't say I'm an expert. I, I definitely know more than a beginner would, but I, I don't even know if I'd say an intermediate at them, but definitely well enough just to kind of get the hang of this. So I really hope that people enjoyed this video. Um, the buildings were the first thing I wanted to make with geometry nodes, and I feel like there's some other people out there that are in the same boat as me. Um, they just may not know how to get started on it. So if that's the case, I really, really hope that this tutorial helped you. And I will be making more about geometry notes in the future, because as I said, this was probably the most fun I've had using uh, Blender or any other modeling software in quite a while. So I'm going to be playing around with it quite a bit more this week. If you found this video helpful or just interesting, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop me a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already. If you ring the bell, you'll get notifications of when I release more tutorials so you can join us in some of the future videos. I do really hope I'm going to be making more about geometry nodes because I think that there is a ton of potential in this, not only for uh, ArchViz, which is what I focus on, but a lot of other areas of Blender as well. Uh, I'd love to be able to find out how you can just click a plane, make some great hardwood floor, maybe some tiles, um, maybe just a step up from what the Archipack offers right now. Uh, that would be really cool if that was possible, and I do plan on figuring out a way to do it. So. If you uh, want to stick around for that, as I said, ring the bell. Special thanks goes out to anyone who is already a subscriber of my channel. I am hoping to get quite a few more videos out in this month as opposed to the last two. Uh, we've been really busy, but I think we have kind of got past the big... Uh, the big stress period so i do plan on making more videos if you have any video suggestions please leave a comment below or just tell me if you liked the video or disliked it i do really enjoy getting comments in any form so it'd be pretty cool to see those as well have a great night everyone stay healthy